wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up, today's gonna be a good Hey guys, how's it going? Hi, how you doing? I'm Scott, this is Christina. Um, we haven't done a haul video in a while. Um, we haven't had the room. Yeah, that's very true. We, and we barely get the room today. But um, we do almost have everything out of the truck, though. And this is everything that we left in the in the shed here. So the truck probably, by the time we go out one more time, probably be enough for one more. Yeah. Bunch of small stuff. I am thinking what we're going to show you probably cost us about $200, roughly. Because this was $35. Yeah, so. it was $35. Yeah. Probably $150, $200. And... Um, just off the top of my head, it's probably going to shoot somewhere around 800 to 1,000 uh, total sales. All right, anything you want to say before we get to it? Nope, because I want to get more out of the truck and do the next one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to be caught up. All right, uh, we will be right back and we'll get it started. Good day, wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Yo. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the aftermath of preparation. Go All right, we're back. <laughs> um, I'm gonna let her get started because she did most of the research. I don't know where to start. I'll just start at the side of the table. Uh, pair of vans. We got these at a church sale. Well, I think we overpaid a little bit, but they look brand, brand new. But I was checking comps. Um, they didn't seem to be selling for that great. We bought them for 10 and they're probably going for right around 30 which is still good, but not what I exactly would like. Same church sale. Not same vans, but still vans. These are heavier set. Um, they're probably, we just did a real quick comps on them. Probably going to be worth more than what I'm going to tell you. But um, okay. these these are in excellent condition except for the, the soles. And power shot will take care of that. But um, these will end up probably looking pretty much brand new. But these are 25 to 30. We end up paying $5 for them. This I had to just get. Um, we got it at a yard sale somewhere. But it is adorable. I don't like unicorns, but I love sloths. And it's just so cute. The thing is ugly. It's gunned from, I think it was 1990. I saw the year on here it somewhere. It makes no sense. I could have swore I said 1990 earlier. Anyways, I, I, either I'm blind there or whatnot. But it's just adorable. We paid a dollar for it. And it's going around, well... One sold for $8, and there's a whole bunch listed for around 15 so we'll see how it goes. But he's adorable. Okay, we got a pair of Reeboks. These are real flex. They do not have shoestrings. We'll add shoestrings to them. Um, black ones. I don't know. Maybe red might look good. But we'll add shoestrings to them. Pay $2 for these. Excellent tread on the bottom. And um, they're not as much as what I thought they would be, but um, we'll probably get $18, $20. I think we've been running into that a lot lately. Not as much as what we thought they'd be, so you'll hear that a lot. <laughs> but we're we're remembering prices though. Yeah, well, we well, are a little more. I'll see that. Then you got that one. I got my notebook again. <laughs> That's why. This we got at a local thrift store. It's called Locust Thrift, I think, something like that. Um, I picked it up because it was different. It's made in England, and it's Opal Wear Phoenix number zero seven something. So it was just different. Paid a dollar and it's going for around 12. And around here, the thrift stores are usually pretty expensive. This place, if you can find something, is cheap. But it's very hard to find something in this place. Okay, next is some um, Arsum Poinsettia, Poinsettia light sets. Poinsettia. Poinsettia. Poinsettia light sets. We got these at Goodwill for $3. Each of them has 20 lights on them, but I opened this first one up to test it. There are two strands on this one, and I didn't check that one yet, but both strands worked in this box here. And each strand goes for 15 for each strand. Uh, we might just group them together and sell if there's if there's one strand in, in her box. It feels like there's two. Okay, if there's two strands, we'll probably sell them for uh, somewhere around $25, probably for four strands. I wanted to see if there was a year on here, but I don't Yeah, I didn't see, see no year. And it was hard to find the one with the same box set up in here. But uh, if there's four strands, it'll probably end up being $25 probably. Oh, on the way back from our yard sale on the other day, we stopped at this one that's usually there on the sides of the road. And I picked up these. 
They are vintage, made in Italy, um, sterling silver and crystal, the ashtrays, or you can use them as coasters. But I had these, well, my parents or my grandmother or somebody had these when I was little. And I was like, oh, look at that. And um, yeah, so we got them. Paid a dollar. And for the set of four, anywhere between 15 and 20. There is a set, like this is um, made by Leonard. There's one out there that Marvin something. It was listed for a thousand something. Okay, a couple weeks ago, we stopped at a yard sale and they were trying to raise money for her daughter to go to Hawaii for, what was she going to Hawaii for? Something for school. Something for school. She's going to Hawaii. So we basically got everything at this yard sale for a dollar a piece. But these were new in the package. This is Advance Auto Parts Monster Jam hats, brand new. There's 11 of them in there. And they sell for roughly $10 a piece. So $11 into 110 same yard sale. I picked up this Toy Story 4, Mr. Potato Head, new inbox. Got him for a dollar. Pretty much everything there was a dollar because we lotted it all up and she just gave us a really good deal. Actually, she told us to give her a price. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> she didn't care. She just wanted it gone. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, paid a dollar and he's going for 15 to 20. I don't remember where we got this one. Do you? Goodwill. Nine, oh, nine cents. Oh, Goodwill. This is a felt Tigger hat from the Disney store. The comps I did on it says it's vintage, but I can't find anything on it this, to say what the year is. I might just be blind, but um, it is felt and it can be, I've seen, of course, listed prices are all over the place, but uh, for the most part, I think we can get 15 to $20 out of it and paid 99 cents. Oh, I got these at Goodwill. I'm trying to think, where did I go? Where did I get these? These are vintage 1995 Kellogg cereal, Toucan Sam and Tony the Tiger. Paid a dollar a piece and they'll roughly sell for about $10 for the pair. A lot of people were selling them in the lots of four where they had the four characters, but we didn't have that, so. And we actually just sold a cereal bowl that was the GE. Um, was it GE? Not GE. General Mills. Yeah, General Mills. GE, that's appliances. Yeah. Uh, but it's General Mills, and they had uh, like multiple char char characters on the bowl. And we just sold it for $9. Yeah, so. I was probably going to do 10 for the pair. Here is a... Build a bear. Oh, he, he's a blue blast husky, and it's still got tags on it. We got this at Goodwill for two dollars, and his prices range eighteen to twenty. No tags. Excellent condition. This was at Goodwill as well. We just had a good, good, a good Goodwill day. This is Tupperware. It's a three-piece steamer set. I paid four dollars. And it is going for $25. do not ask me how it works. I don't know. Put but water in it. Heats up. Like... Stop it. <laughs> that steams. You don't do any of the cooking, so I don't want to hear. This one's really cool. Because we didn't go yard sale this past weekend. Um, we just Friday weeks. it didn't seem like it was it didn't have a whole lot out there. And so we decided to stay in on Saturday uh, to try to knock out more here in the shed. But we had um, or a friend or family coming over on uh Sunday, Monday. Yeah. I saw a picture from Robert Rebel, reseller's husband, and they actually looked like they killed it on Saturday. They completely loaded the car up. So I'm kind of jealous because we didn't go in on Saturday, which is probably good because we got way too much in here now. But um, we know the season's going to be ending soon. But then we got to hoard like squirrels with nuts. But yeah, I don't think, I think, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, we found this one. At the yard sale, it's an octopus um, glass. It's pretty heavy. Didn't find anything on it online. We paid three dollars for it. Some that's not quite similar. They have like a lot longer little tentacles or legs, wherever they are. I'm guessing we could probably get thirty to forty dollars out of it. It's very heavy. Um, these we got at a church sale for ten dollars. Keeping them, I need flat boots not heeled boots so they're my size and i'm just gonna keep them <laughs> she has enough shoes i gotta hey you, uh, or what sold what sold a pair of my shoes don't go there <laughs> okay at the uh the one thrift store that i said it's hard to find stuff but when they do it's cheap um we paid basically a dollar for him it does work i did plug it in in the in the store it's got a little bit of fading 
but uh, this will end up selling for 18 to 20. Y'all know I like my Tupperware, Anchor Hawking, any of that stuff. This I got for $4 at Goodwill. Okay, it's got two eight ounce. This is the Anchor Hawking with the two lids. These are selling for about $12 for the pair. This is the medium, which is, do you remember how many ounces this was? That was 14 ounces. Yeah, 14 ounces. Two of those with the two lids. These will sell for about 20. And then this is the largest one. There's just the one and it's a 48 ounce and it's selling for about 15. So out of $4, we're going to make about 47. Okay. And she picked up a silk categories game, paid $2. Still has a wrapping on it from whoever <laughs> yeah. didn't want it. <laughs> and like I said, it's sealed and it could go 20 to $30. Okay, glassware, Pyrex, Tupperware, all that kind of stuff. This I didn't realize was the one that was in here. I thought they were two of the vintage mixing bowls because we have been finding mixing bowls and mixers left and right and we are doing phenomenal with them. Okay. I just, yeah, I just listed <laughs> one yesterday, I think. And the bowls like this little one will be like uh 15 to 20 and then the bigger one usually is like 20 to 25. so this i'll list between 15 and 20. this is just an vintage pyrex 7401 three cup and we got oh we got this set for four dollars and this will go for 12. 30 27. okay well 15 to 12. Yeah, I'm not good at math. He is. So, <laughs> $4 into that. Or that into $4. However you want to say it. And we went to this lady one other time. She is very sweet. Old, old lady. Oh, yeah. Um, we got some stuff from her before. and She has some really good stories. We pulled up to the house and we went, oh, okay, it's that lady again. Be prepared. <laughs> but um, she didn't have very much out this time. But I did pick these up. These are both vintage as well. Got them for, a, this one was a dollar. It is Pyrex. And the numbers, I can't. I don't have, oh. Hey, you guys don't care. <laughs> it's going between 7 and 15. And then this is a casserole lid. I mean, look how dirty. I gotta, ugh. None of this stuff has been cleaned yet. Got this one as well for a dollar, and this one's going between 12 and 25. What else you got over here? I'm going to do this okay. That's it. Okay, we went to a small little church. Um, they called it a consignment oh, sale. Right? It wasn't really uh, a church sale. It was a little more expensive. But they called it consignment, but it was at a church. But um, I think this is actually came from Hobby Lobby. But we got this for $3.00. And all we got to do is put some lights in it and test it. But uh, I might keep it for in here, hanging up on one of these two by fours. I don't know. But since I sold the price, I may not. I don't know. But it's sold for $35. I don't know. I got to decide whether or not I want to keep it. Or not. It's double sided as well. Hey, lady with a kid going to Hawaii paid a dollar. My mom was always a huge Tweety fan. So I'm partial to picking up Tweety stuff. These slippers for a dollar. And, oh, and if we want to sell them online, they're going around twelve fifty. Go ahead and do your cups because I'm going to hold this big bad boy up. Oh. You know me and my Tervis. This one I did not realize <laughs> is not a Tervis. <laughs> no. None of these are ribbed. Shush. <laughs> do you want me to start with that one again? Yeah, so anyways, this one is not Tervis. Uh, bravery, bravery is believing in yourself. Be brave, be happy, enjoy adventure, laugh, hope, be who you are. Very inspiring. The little ones, we're probably going to do about 10 bucks a piece online. That's the other one. It's an owl. We have one just like that. I think it's the bigger one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It doesn't have the background color, but I don't know. And then the 24 ounce, it's just, it's Fiesta. So I'll probably go about 12 to 15 for this one. Okay. That's the, a wrap on my side. Well, not not yet. Not quite. But anyway, at the thrift store that I said, it's hard to find a stuff in it. But when you do, it's a good deal. This is going to be fun to research. Yeah, it's going to be really fun to, to ship to. Yeah. We got this here. It's a Barbie playhouse. Nothing has been washed off yet. Absolutely filthy. 
Yes. Um, it opens up on the other side of where there's a balcony. And we'll go through the box that came with it. But we got the Playhouse. And I did some preliminary uh, lookups on it. Clean and in excellent condition. It could be upwards of $180. There's a little bit of damage here. So I didn't see that. Well, I can fix that with my glue gun. It, it, can, be, it can be cleaned. Um, I think the bottom end I saw on these was probably $80. So it's eight, but um, so it can be anywhere between eighty to one hundred and eighty, and then it came with all this as well. Let's spread them out. All the dollhouse furniture. You might need to hold the button. A bed, a purple one, a pink bag, double sinks for the bathroom, couch for the porch. Oh, the shower. Uh-huh. Anyway, I don't think we need to show you all of it, but it has tons oh. and tons of... I imagine this is some kind of table for food. Yeah, this little canoe. But it's just still all this... Oh, this is felt like a grandma. All this in there as well. But um, there we go. Pieces for days. But we got... We got all the furniture. I love this. Sorry, let me sit back down so you're not looking at my fat belly. <laughs> but we got all the furniture in this playhouse for $35. I did some quick pricing, and even if they sell for $5 a piece, which some's probably more, the bottom end's probably close to five, there's over 30 pieces in here. So that's $150 just in furniture. And then if we get the bottom end of the house, $80. Cha-ching! My mind just went blank. $230 that we've spent $35 on. So, I will take that. It's going to be a little... The furniture won't be bad to ship, but this, this big boy right here will be. Anything will fit in the right box. But while Sweet I'm putting this up... Out. While I'm getting this out, I'm going to let her dig on the stuffed animals that we've been holding off on. It's, yeah. not because, it's not because they're great. It's because we just haven't got it to them. Yeah. And a lot, none of them have been cleaned or anything, so they're just coming out and... We're just showing them. Haven't even comped them or nothing. We're hoping, we'll just say between 10 to 20 bucks, maybe even 8 to 20 or something like that. But yeah, we'll we'll probably say 8 to 15 unless we think there's something that might be worth more. Yeah. Well, no, I just said at the beginning so we can just go. There's right. a ton here. So this is a lovey from Dandy. I don't know what this is from. Some of the stuff, yeah, we won't have it's a clue. It's a little but... duck. Still has a, the plastic tag on it. Another duck. And if you see anything that, you know, you know right off the bat that's an oddball, just mention it in the comments below. And I think this goes with them, too. Because it's got the same plastic tag in the back, so they got to be together. This is like a little dinosaur with some <laughs> I gotta edit that out. <laughs> with, with some crazy things in it. Here's a little Simba. Um, Disney. Oh. It's a Timon. Timon. Got two trolls here. I don't know anything about the trolls other than they're trolls. So I don't know if they're important characters or not. A uh, big tall one. Small little one. I mean, and most of these are actually in excellent condition where they won't need much cleaning. This was the front yard where we met Rebel afterwards, and she said $2 a bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. Never mind. I'm getting confused, but we went there, and we were just going to leave, and then right before we left, she told us $2 to fill a bag. And I had already messaged Rebel to tell her about these, and we just started loading them up, and we got three bags full. But I don't even know what this guy is. Pinocchio. Anybody see the new live version of Pinocchio? With Tom Hanks? Yeah. I, I think it, it was okay. Uh... Another one of them ducks that's at the bottom of that pile. I don't know who she is. That's on Toy Story 4. It's attached to the yellow thing, okay. too. That's Disney. But I don't know if we have the yellow one in this thing. Chuck E. Cheese Mouse. I'm hoping something good for him. He goes with... Um, this is Ryan's World. Tiny baby tigger. Some sort of... Oh, it's a dandy. Dandy snowsuit bear. This is a Disney Knickerbocker Goofy. <gasps> Knickerbocker. Uh, Rebel just had something about that on one of her. Yeah. 
things. I Very know. old. Um, probably needs to be cleaned, but at least the canvas part might be able to be cleaned with the uh, baby wipes. It looks very old. It is. It's very old. It's vintage. Yes, yeah, a vintage, not old. Scooby-Doo! I guess he's supposed to be a wizard. This is a Walgreens dog. Okay, there's oh, another there's a, Walgreens. Look! They're <laughs> little people! Here's the little people that she had me looking on the shelf behind her uh, shelf for. And they weren't there. They were actually over here, and then she hit them again. Give me so I don't lose them. Yes. Her little people that she knew where they were at. I'll just leave them right there, because I plan on listing that tomorrow. This is a Hosan, Ho, Hosan 1994. It's got a squishy face, but it's not soft. I mean, it's soft, but it's like rubbery. This is the other Ryan's World. Again, we don't know characters or half of anything about these. He's Dandy, though. He probably won't have a name. I don't see Dandy anywhere, honey. Oh, I thought he was. Never mm. mind. Anyway, this is a... He's very soft. Kind of cute. Strangly. I know this is a Disney character because um, I do the this coloring stuff. And it's got Disney in there. I don't know who he is, what he's about, nothing. I didn't see the movie. Onward, upward, onward, onward is the name of the movie. Ah. I remember seeing the advertisement for it on uh, the Disney Channel. I'm going to save the most expensive one for last. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little Mickey. Oh, your sister's still taking that. I think so. I, I, I The yeah. tag is all... It's Japanese. 99% of it's in Japanese. It's probably Disney Japan. But it doesn't say J Disney Japan on the front. Usually it does. Uh, it says Paris on it. Disney Paris. No, it says Parks. Oh, see, I got my glasses on. still can't read. But it's cute. It's um, double-faced. That's surprise, I guess. And that's happy. <laughs> okay, now yeah. the most expensive one. Have you guys seen the prices of these ties online? They sell for thousands. I mean, and thousands and one. thousands. And we have one. Anyway, this one's the uh, tie 2K. I think he's the confetti one. And I'm sure he's probably worth four or $500. But you know what he's going to go, what we're going to do with him? Straight to trash can because he might be worth a dollar, dollar fifty. So oh, does he have? A, oh yeah, he can't go to yeah. the dog. So yeah, don't believe the prices. It's money laundering. Yeah, there's no way this thing's worth more than two dollars. So straight to trash can. But it was in the bag. I think that is it for now. That is it. Probably a thousand dollars. Probably if we sell, or when we sell. Yeah. But um, it gives her a little bit of a break from my cousin's items because it's. It's fun, but it's all Christmas. All Christmas and all small items, and a lot of them's hard to find. There are a lot of big items as well, but they're just not easy to get to at the moment. And we still have to find. She has a lot of um, party. Party uh, light. Party well, party light party. The the jewelry. Oh, they're party bomb party bomb party party bomb, bomb party bomb party that we haven't even touched yet, but. Uh, and I mean, there's probably like two boxes full that are. And we don't know That's much it. about jewelry or anything, so... I'm more than likely going to see about lotting it up in small boxes and then selling it as the, the lot, yeah. the, whatever they call that. I know the minimum that they told me that they want out of them, so uh, we might just group four or five of them together and go from there, so... Yeah. But we appreciate you guys sticking around, and I know this is uh, a haul video that we haven't done in a while. We probably got enough in the truck to maybe do one more. Yes, we do. So, uh, this is going to be enough to, to, to keep her busy for the next three or four days without touching my The problem stuff. is we're just running out of space once it's listed where to put it because the, yeah. Yeah, we're pulling boxes down to list while we're putting one or two of boxes that we filled back up like this of their items. Yeah. Anyway, um, thank you guys for coming back. I know there was a request or two of doing another haul video or asking when there was going to be another haul video. So The next um, one won't be so long down the road. It's no. just right there in the truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but and then, Plus, we're coming up on the end of yard sale season, so we may have to shift our gears and start hitting estate sales or maybe even trying to find some auctions. Okay, you want to say anything before we go? Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Yep. Thank you, guys.